Unfortunately, Cal football has really fallen off in the last few years. At times during the 2000s and 2010s, the Cal football program was in a terrific spot, was producing a lot of NFL talent, and was more importantly, winning a lot of games. Unfortunately, it has been a major struggle over the last few years, and part of that is due to bad quarterback play. Since Jared Goff left for the NFL, the Golden Bears have struggled to field a truly elite QB, and it has just been a nightmare for them. Luckily, the subject of today's video was supposed to come in and save Cal. He was a blue chip recruit, had all the potential in the world, and I guess thought that Cal was in such a bad spot that he transferred down to the FCS level when he probably could have been the starter. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Kai Milner. We're going to go through this guy's backstory, talk about his career at Cal, and why he left the Golden Bears program in favor of an FCS school. But before we get started, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and turn on notifications so you never miss when I upload. Now, let's go ahead and get started and talk about Kai Milner. Before Kai Milner threw for nearly 5,000 yards and 50 touchdowns during his high school career, he was just a kid who grew up in the state of Arizona. Milner's determination to play quarterback started at a very young age. From the moment he was able to, he began picking up and tossing around whatever ball he could find. His father jokingly recalled how he refused to sit still, insisting that the two play catch even while they watched football together. As a freshman in high school, Milner was well on track to achieving his goal of becoming a Division I starting football player, but as an 8-year-old, he knew he wanted to play quarterback. His father, Dwayne, though, was not so sure that was the best path for his son. It wasn't necessarily the pressure that comes along with playing quarterback that gave his father hesitation, but simply, it was an understanding of how the football business works. His dad was a former athlete and NFL scout, and he knew how much dedication was needed to successfully compete and win. After all, every kid wants to be a quarterback growing up, but only so many can actually make it. His dad said, quote, There's only one quarterback, right? There's only one position on the field. I wanted to make sure that Kai understood what was going on for him to really play that position. As he became more serious about athletics, Milner began trying his hand at basketball, baseball, and even lacrosse. Even in football, he played all over the field, succeeding in nearly every position that he tried. But by the time Milner reached high school, it was clear where he was meant to be. His father said, quote, Every year they kept putting him at quarterback, even on teams that I was helping coach. My friend Kelvin said, Hey dude, just let it be. Let it happen. He's a quarterback. From then on, Kai would start going to his father's academy, which was called Elevate, and they were responsible for sending a few high school talents to the next level, including future South Carolina and Oklahoma quarterback Spencer Rattler, and future Purdue, Cal, and Louisville starting quarterback Jack Plummer. Kai was well aware that the road he was choosing was not the easiest, but his decision to pursue football, despite how demanding it was, spoke volume. He was also super talented. His trainer said, quote, He throws one of the best balls of anybody that we have. He's a great decision maker, and he's an outstanding young man both on and off the field. What was Kai looking for in a school? Well, he had a couple of factors. He said that academics were a huge thing for him, and he wanted to develop as not only a player, but as a person, and get to his ultimate goal of going to the NFL. So, he wanted to go to a school with great academics that could also get into the next level. That seems like a lot of different players, and that was definitely the right approach for Kai to take. As a junior starter at Hegley High School, Milner passed for 2,387 yards and 31 touchdowns. He only had just six interceptions and was one of the best players in the whole state of Arizona. When it came time to recruiting, he eventually picked Cal over Arizona State, Arizona, Boise State, Colorado, Washington State, and Indiana. Why Cal, though? Well, he said, quote, Looking at all the things I've looked for in a program and in a college, they just really fit everything. From the coaches to the players and the academics, it just felt like it fit, and it's a great place, and I'll take that on the rest of my journey. His high school coach said that Kai was an extreme competitor and that he was super excited about him going to Cal. The family fell in love with Cal's new offensive coordinator, Bill Musgrave, and Kai was also good friends with Spencer Brash. Brash is a big name because he was the quarterback who was right before him at Higley High School, and he actually went on to go to Cal as well. So, those two things were a huge factor for Kai, and he wanted to make sure he was comfortable in the quarterback room, and liking your offensive coordinator and having one of your best friends there definitely would help. Bill Musgrave, though, was probably the biggest deal of it all. Milner said, quote, I think his experience is a huge thing. He was an NFL guy, and we just connected from the start. We built a strong relationship, and that was one of the big things. What also helped was that Kai Milner was the first and only quarterback that Bill Musgrave actually offered, and that has to say something. He thought that Kai could be the guy for him and could take that team to the next level. Despite a weird year in the world in 2020, Milner got to see Cal before official visits were banned, and eventually he signed, saying, quote, It really is a dream come true. 
I've been working at it for as long as I can remember, and for the day to finally come, to finally sign and make it official, it's an amazing feeling. During his time at Higley High School, he threw to his star tight end Alex Lines, who now is a tight end for Arizona, and he wrapped up a successful senior year. Miller was a really big deal, and was a huge get for Justin Wilcox and Cal. Scouts were extremely high on him, as they credited him with having great competitiveness, was a kid that wanted to win everything, was a very cerebral quarterback, was athletic enough to keep plays going with his legs, and he was a quote, assassin on and off the field. As I said, Milner was a really big deal, as according to 24-7 Sports, he was a four-star recruit, the number 30 quarterback, and the 296th best player in the class of 2020. In two years as a starter, Milner had 4,500 passing yards, 800 rushing yards, and 59 combined touchdowns. How would he end up doing at Cal? That was the big question. Milner would end up being the third string quarterback and would just redshirt as a true freshman there. In 2021, Cal would start Chase Garbers at quarterback and he had seemingly been there forever. He ended up having a pretty decent season and while Garbers was not a bad quarterback by any means, he was just sort of your average starter who wasn't going to really elevate the team to that elite level. Cal ended up struggling in 2021, and they desperately needed a bounce back season in 2022. For a little while, it looked like Milner could win the starting job going into 2022, but Jack Plummer would transfer in from Purdue, and he would end up winning the job. Plummer would end up finishing with 3,000 yards and 21 touchdowns, which gave Milner very little opportunity to play. He'd throw his first career touchdown against Oregon, and would finish the year with 121 yards and two touchdowns. Milner really didn't get a chance to get going at all, but as I scrolled through social media, I found that many Cal fans were calling for him to play. Maybe that's just how all fan bases are, but obviously, Milner had some sort of untapped potential that fans were really excited to see, and Plummer had already hit his ceiling. Through his first two years at Cal, he had barely stepped on the field, and I guess he decided it was time for a change of pace. Despite Plummer now being at Louisville, and Cal desperately needing a starting quarterback, Milner decided to enter his name in the transfer portal and went home. He transferred to Northern Arizona, which is a school that's pretty close to home and actually has been pretty decent over the last few years. They recently produced quarterback RJ Martinez, who was a superstar for them last year and has since transferred to Baylor, where he's gonna try to win this year's job. Right away, Milner will get to go home, probably start for NAU, and could have a big time career. It's still gonna be a big what if though, because he probably would have had that starting quarterback spot locked down. There's probably a couple factors why he transferred away. Maybe something happened closer to home. Maybe he didn't like new offensive coordinator Jake Spavadol, or maybe he just wanted a fresh start. It's probably multiple reasons. But either way, I think he could be one of those guys that puts up huge numbers at NAU and maybe transfers back up to the FBS. But for now, some people are gonna call him a disappointment, but the jury is still out on him and there's a lot of football left for him to play. I remember Milner being hyped up as the next great Cal quarterback. And personally, I thought he was going to be a star who could turn them around, but his path has gone differently than many expect. And it looks like TCU quarterback transfer Sam Jackson will probably be in line to start for the Golden Bear. Either way, in my opinion, Cal is in big trouble as A, they have not been very good the last few years, but B, they don't really have a quarterback and Justin Wilcox has a lot of problems to address there and he's got to turn it around soon. I wish the best of luck for Milner and thank you guys for tuning into today's video. Be sure to let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know what player, topic, team, or situation I can cover next. Subscribe if you're new and check out all the videos on the end screen. Hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace.